We opened the center in 1983. Mm -hmm. um, we started off with three or four tenants. The plan for the center is to build in phases. So our second phase was completed in 1997. And the idea is to provide, and this is the developer's dream and concept, to provide business, residential and entertainment facilities within the same building. We want to invite um, retailers, big retailers from uh, Europe, America, big names, mm -hmm. to actually take space in the center. So many hotels mushrooming. Hotels obviously attract tourists. Mm -hmm. Right? It's a stopover for tourists to go to game parks, to the coast, wherever. Mm -hmm. We are very close to those hotels and I think the center will play a major role in, um, in, in providing services to those tourists. Currently we have got about 25,000 people who walk through the center every day. Wow. And uh, in Nairobi still we are probably number one in terms of mm -hmm. traffic. Uh, we have a loyalty scheme where Despite having only 200 uh, car spaces for those people, mm -hmm. we've already got 3,000 members of that customer loyalty program. Primarily, people come here for Masai Mara, uh, okay. in the coast. Uh, we have wildlife which is second to none in the world. Even if you go to South Africa, South Africa, you go through tarmac roads to see animals. Mm -hmm. Here it's open in the wild. Mm -hmm. The other attraction is a coastline. Of course, mountaineering. Mm -hmm. Yes, at the coast, um, fishing has become a big thing. So mm -hmm. you know, professional or, or people who do fishing as a sport. Then there is all the water sports, which are becoming very active in at the coast mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. uh, deep sea diving. Right. So golf coming up now. Um, golf mm -hmm. tourism. The Kenyan. Um, uh, authorities have become very concerned about the eco ecology of tourism, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, ecologies <laughs> are coming up. So, without damaging the nature, destroying nature, ecotourism is becoming big. Britain is um, 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 a huge trade partner mm -hmm. of Kenya. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. those ties, trading ties are there. Mm -hmm. um, historically and even today, um, most uh, students, most students who do want to go uh, to universities would think of UK first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think there are about there must be. two million Kenyans now in, out there, in the, mm -hmm. the right there yeah. somewhere. Yeah. So half a million Kenyans living and working in the UK. Uh, they have ties, they have families in Kenya. So there is lots of money coming from the UK, which mm -hmm. Kenyans earn mm -hmm. there and send it to Kenya. Yeah. So there's, that's a huge, huge uh, influx of foreign exchange by the diaspora. Mm -hmm. Opportunities in Kenya are immense, mm -hmm. immense, and um, over the last 10 years or so, the government has really worked very hard to uh, make a, an environment that is very enabling mm -hmm. for foreign investors. Mm -hmm. So, foreign investment in tourism, in agriculture, in manufacturing, uh, 
joint ventures mm -hmm. as well. Uh, there is a property boom in Kenya. You've seen that. Mm -hmm. Every part of Nairobi, there is buildings coming up. It's, it, this is actually a very optimistic time for, for Kenya. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the world depression that we, we, we've all seen on television mm -hmm. and, and, you know. Um, but have not experienced yeah, probably that too probably much. probably hasn't been experienced here, mm -hmm. you know. Well, either probably we, maybe We've got a very viable side. economy uh -huh, mm -hmm. um, that has been able almost to, to ignore it. The investment is huge. Mm -hmm. It's really huge. It can turn into tens of billions of shillings. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole project. And uh, if the financial incentives in Kenya to borrow are not favorable, mm -hmm. then of course we would be looking for um, equity investors or uh, what are called investment houses yeah, who invest or who come in for a short while and then exit. It's now a lot easier to invest in Kenya. There is no red tape. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a lot easier. You could go to um, uh, an investment house and it's a one stop for all your licenses. Mm -hmm. And you know, within days you can get that license here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Politically also, Kenya is very stable now. Kenyans want a peaceful election. Mm -hmm. I think the greatest um, asset that Kenya has is the population. The learned population, meaning graduates coming out of unis. Mm -hmm. right? um, Kenya has a, a population which is very literate. Mm -hmm. right? the, the labor is here. I think one of the shortfalls in um, uh, other African countries would be that you do uh, uh, you invest money, but you need to bring skilled labor, skilled skilled from, outside. labor from outside. Now, in mm. Kenya, that's not necessary. So that resource is here. In terms of infrastructure, what has happened in Kenya? Um, roads. Um, mainly, it's roads. Uh, power, energy, mm -hmm. you know, all that has moved with the growth. Mm -hmm. And I think that infrastructure is so important for Kenya. But over the last year, 10 years, it has happened. And it is still happening, and we have full confidence that it will continue to happen. Personally, I would like to replicate the Sarit Center in East and Central Africa mm. Mm -hmm. to replicate it. Um, there are opportunities in um, in, in uh, Rwanda, Burundi, Uganda, Tanzania, Sudan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So certainly we would like to replicate this project elsewhere. Now, I say this because I've been in this business all my life. So. Mm -hmm. Really, I would like to replicate that. Um, I'm not sure about Peter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. <He's> a farmer. <laughs> <laughs>